Mr. Powell. It's the uh, right arm, is that right? Try to lift it above your head. <laughs> hmm. Well, you seem to be pretty banged up. You should see the other guy. Did uh, you report this? It's my five foot wife, Doc. She keeps beating me. I don't know what to do. Comedian. That's good. That'll get me through the night. Might not get you through the week, though. I'll do okay. Not if they find you. Who? Whoever it is who left you that cute little hand stamp for entry. Yellow dragons. Lucky strikers. Okay, you know your venues. I used to. Haven't been around in years, though. All reform, huh? Look, I can keep you overnight. I'll prescribe you some painkillers and suggest a hotel near the airport, but if you see these guys coming, you get out of here. Take what little you have and, I mean, to get as far as you can. How'd you get out? My time here is up, Mr. Powell. Seen anyone dangerous the past few nights? No, man. Same shit. Business as usual. You seen this guy? You recognize him? That's my Uncle Jerry. He used to finger me in the bathroom. Hell of a bowler. You know, we've had five women turn up dead in the past three months. And this guy's stepping up his game. So you want to be funny? Try open mic night at Crazy Benny's on Tuesdays. I'm fucking serious. So am I. But that's not my Uncle Jerry. Never seen him before. You out last night? I don't get out much. How you make a living? My girls bring me a living. That's right. I'm a female CEO, bitch. That's great. But see, I'm looking for information. Information? I can help you with some information. How about advice, you moron? It's all the questions I have. Yeah, have a good day. Say goodbye playing that. Could have just played Scrabble. You hate Scrabble. I had a boyfriend once. His whole life was in Japan. Met him when he was here on vacation, but we knew it had to end. We spent our last hour just doing nothing significant. I thought. My next heartbreaking goodbye, I'm gonna do something special, damn it. I was never your boyfriend. No, you were not. Look, I, I want you to know that I, I told the record label about you. I honestly did. You know, I it just. It's fine. No. Yeah, I. I told them they should just take both of us. And I tried, you know. How hard? Not hard enough, I guess. Another summer day, 
has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home. Uh, what I love about singing is uh, my ability to show my soul and, and bear my feelings to, to an audience. There's nothing for me like being on stage, whether I'm singing or acting, just uh, having the ability to, to, to translate my feelings and, my, and express myself through my art. I started acting uh, out of high school. Uh, I'd been a singer first and uh, started auditioning for, uh, for musical theater roles, and then uh, from there I'd ended up acting more. What I love about musical theater is the aspect of being able to uh, incorporate a, a proper technique to my singing and to my craft, whereas I, uh, you know, being a, someone who's grown up in church, you don't always get the technical aspect of things, uh, musically that is. And so once I'd got, gotten a little bit older and studied in musical theater, I studied theater, I, I, I learned how to sing properly and, and how to really preserve my instrument. Just let me come home.